Hey everybody, this is Mike with Crooked Crow Crafting. Today I'm going to do kind of a, a continuation of the Reaper Learn to Paint Core Skill Set. I'm going to take the Skeleton Archer, follow the directions, and paint it step by step. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Here I'm using an X-Acto knife to trim any mold seams that I can see from the Skeletal Archer. I needed a little more light to see the details so I put on a headlamp. The Reaper instructions are full of useful information from how to take care of your brushes, clean up, paint prep, along with lots of helpful tips. I've never painted a mini before and it was all I needed to do a pretty good job. I also cleaned up the other miniatures that came with the kit at this time. The instructions recommended mounting the figure on a holder, pretty much an essential tool for painting. The holder can be anything, a pill bottle, a block of wood, an empty thread spool, just use some poster tack or double-sided tape to adhere the mini. Here I'm setting up my wet palette. This is not included in the instructions and not essential, but it is recommended by my daughter and every other mini painter on YouTube. Basically, it keeps your paint from drying out between uses if you can't finish in one sitting. I always use distilled water if possible to avoid mineral or chemical contaminants from tap water. This is not in the instructions, but just thought it was a good thing to do. I stole the container out of the kitchen, added some universal cleaning rayon cloth, and some parchment paper. I'll post another quick video on how I put it together. Prior to painting, I washed the figures with a toothbrush, soap, and water. Finally, it's time to paint. I start with a base coat of desert sand all over the bone areas of the model. I already put on one coat and this is the second. I'm using the flat size tube brush. I'm not worried about overpainting the other areas because these can be cleaned up when applying other colors. Now it's time for the wash. Per the instructions, I used one drop of mountain stone to four drops of water. I'm using the end of the brush to add the water and mix it in. The wash brings out the detail but does dull the base layer. After the wash dries, you have to dry brush the figure to lighten up the color. The instructions go into a nice brush technique to achieve great results from dry brushing. Here I'm drawing the edge of the brush perpendicular to high areas. Now I'm painting the quiver and chest straps with Harvest Brown in the size zero round brush. Time to paint the bow and arrows with leather brown. The tips of the bow and the metal strip on the quiver are painted with blade steel. Make sure to shake the metal colors a lot. Fletching on the arrows are dragon blue. The last step was to apply washes to all the different areas. Being new to videotaping, I forgot to record this step. Here are the completed miniatures.
I did put the skeleton on a reaper base and enhanced it with some milliput, sawdust flocking, and a small grass tuft. I made an ice or frosted sword for the night. I need to improve on the ice thing. I will be making many more videos, so like, subscribe, and please share the channel with your friends.